Scarlet Song is a feminist novel originally written in French by legendary Senegalese writer Mariama Ba. In 1981, the book explores the interactions and problems of an interracial marriage between a Senegalese man and a white French woman. This premise gives Scarlet Song the opportunity to address issues such as gender inequality, patriarchy, sexism, race, tradition, cultural disparities, betrayal and post-colonization. Mariama Ba, as a lifelong critic of gender inequality, who struggled to complete her education due to her old-fashioned traditionalist grandparents who believed a woman should never receive an education. The book begins with Osmane Gwe, a young poor native Senegalese student in the 1960s. Osmane is the son of a devout Muslim who values his relationship with his mother Yaya Kadi above everything else. As a young boy, Osmane carries a burden crush towards a young beautiful girl from his village called Olima Tu. However, Olima too rejects him because she sees him as little more than a mama's boy who smells of fish. After his rejection, as a way to deal with his pain, Osmani throws himself into his studies and avoids dating. He is determined to rise above his impoverished working class background to find a better life. He makes his way to to the University of Dhaka, where he continues to succeed. At the university, he meets Mireille, a French diplomat's daughter. Her background is a stark contrast to Osmanis. She is the wealthy daughter of a French diplomat, as she has a limousine to take her to and from school. In spite of their differences, a romance sparks between them that quickly grows. Mireille's father is a kind liberal in public, but when he discovers his daughter is dating a black native, he only shows his racially charged outrage behind closed doors while Osmane's parents do not approve of it either. Mireille's father sends Mireille back to France immediately to separate her from Osmane and try to kill the relationship. In 1968, even though separated, the pair maintained their political consciousness and still continue to carry on their romance which is now a long distance one and hope one day they will meet again. They secretly send each other love letters as they pursue their studies and wait for Miro to legally come of age because only then she will no longer need a father's consent to be with Osman. Finally when Miro comes of age as they begin their careers as teachers Osmane travels to France to marry her. He keeps this decision a secret from his parents until after he is married. When Osmane finally introduces his new white wife to his parents after traveling back to Senegal, where Mireille is to start her new life with her husband, she leaves everything behind her nation, culture, friends and family to be with Osmane. With time, Osmane climbs the academic ladder and becomes a prosperous and well-regarded scholar in academic territories. At first, there is a relative tranquility in the marriage, but as Osmane ages, he gradually begins having a hard time balancing his foreign wife, the Senegalese traditions he grew up with, and the parents who raised him. Mireille also faces challenges because of the interracial marriage she has had to sacrifice ties with her European customs, family and friends to be author's money. She has a much more difficult time adjusting and settling in the Osmanes family, background or culture and in particular his mother, Yaye Kadi. Though her husband is okay with the marriage, Yaye Kadi believes Mireille has somehow interest her son. She believes Mireille is a disrespectful, pampered white woman who can never be fit to be Osmanes wife. Because of this, she turns out to be a very insensitive, hostile and an impossible mother-in-law to please. Yaya Kadil believes a real traditional African daughter-in-law should be subservient, almost like a servant to her. Things she believes Mireille will never understand because of her Western culture, education, race and background. Yaya Kadi complains to Osmane that she, she is not getting the respect and treatment from Mireille she deserves. 
Over time, Osmane begins to side more with his mother like he did as a boy and begins to shun Muriel's upper middle class bourgeoisie lifestyle in favor of his traditional Senegalese upbringing. His marriage to Muriel becomes strained as he pushes her away. During this marriage problems, his boyhood village crushed the young girl who once rejected him as a youngster, Olema II, re-enters his life. Olima too now wants Osmani for herself. She sees his success, wealth and status and wants a piece of the cake. Therefore, she uses everything at her disposal to get it. She knows she fits every ideal that Yaya Kadi believes her real daughter-in-law should have. Olema too is submissive, beautiful and seems to know her traditional values and duties of a Senegalese wife. And of course, she is black. She openly tries to get her son's attention. She intentionally manipulates her African build and Yaya Kadi's fondness of her to try to get Osmane's affection. So, with his marriage troubled state, his mother's pressure added with Olimatu's attractiveness. Osmane eventually falls to her charms. They begin another relationship. Osmane keeps this truth from an incre increasingly suspicious Muriel who is getting progressively lonely and depressed because of Osmane's new reserve and aloofness. This affair goes to the extent of leading a secret double life with a second wife and a second child on the way at the same time that Muriel becomes pregnant. Reasonably, Muriel acts upon her suspicions that her husband is having an affair. When she finally learns the truth, she is driven into an insane frenzied rage by her heartbreak. She made us their own interracial baby with sleeping pills and even attempts to kill Osmane when she brutally stabs him. Osmane survives the attack but Muriel remains insane and is deported back to France. If you have an African novel you want to see Dudu summarize, do not hesitate to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more original great Afrocentric content like this. Thanks for watching Mimsy Dudu Summaries.